So what I just did there was uh, my dad had weeds. Just this first pass, he had some weeds, and uh, that he wanted to get rid of. Cause it was pretty bad. Uh, so this is what they call a rope wick, and uh, I'll kind of show you what it is. You put a chemical in here, in this, in this uh, PVC pipe that goes all the way along. You put it inside of here, and then it has these ropes that soak up the chemical. And you put you put a very strong chemical in there that kills peanuts and cotton. It's a, it's a, it's a defoliation chemical that we put in there and then it just swipes the weeds on top and it just burns the top of them it doesn't kill them completely or anything but it, it, it just cleans off the top to where, they're, to where the top is dead and they don't grow more so it's done some real good and I did this on my field a little bit today um, look how fast that cloud is moving over there sucking up all the clouds around it all these big clouds around me they're all heading that way I'm guessing this is from that hurricane on the Gulf Coast I, I don't know I mean we've been getting cloudy days every day um, we got we got a little bit of rain the other day but not much but we've been getting clouds like this every evening or every day so it's been nice it's been cooling down a lot I forgot what I was talking about. I wasn't too necessary anyway. Oh yeah, I ran it on my on my peanut field as well this morning. This is my dad's dryland cotton here. And that's just, I mean, it is just super full. You got one, two, three, four, on each like you got four bowls on each plant look how full that thing is I mean it's just loaded with fruit and it gets unreal this stuff this stuff right here I mean it stayed tiny for the longest time I mean it was little like it was not even knee-high and it's pretty tall now it's almost touching I think this half, well it's in quarters, this is my dad's half miler, as you can see it, it's very very long. Um, it's in quarters, it's in four quarters, it's got, it's got one, two, three, four, four quarters that we farm. We got peanuts on this half. And everybody this year has weeds on their peanuts. And we got some grass issues too, but it's been getting so late. This stuff we uh, we plowed. This cotton looks a lot better than the other quarter because we plowed this stuff. We already had a fantastic crop on this last year, on this quarter here. I mean, just look at the size of this. Look how many. It's just got all the way to the top. It's got like, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43. I mean, that's just like half of the plant. 
and it's already at 40 and that's not even the bigger stuff like that's that, that plant right there but look at this look at the average size of this stuff I mean it's gonna be it's gonna be crazy look at this this is completely dry and we have not watered on this one time but my dad's been getting a lot of rain um, sometimes when I got two tenths, he got an inch, um, then I would get half an inch, and he would get an inch and a half. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's all awesome. I mean, just look at that. Look at that arm. It's got one, two, three, four, five, and it's probably even going to make more. Well, probably not. But, I mean, that was probably done, but as long as this is the crop that makes you the money. These top three are the ones that make you the money. The end of the three. And then the top plant, of course, if you can get the top fruit to set um, to stay on there it makes you a lot of money so yeah I just had to do that one pass there with the tractor with our 8235R to run the rope wick my dad's bringing the system out of the way he's going to treat the peanuts for some leaf spot let me show you some some leaf spot here see if he I'm sure he has some leaf spot all around here better watch out for snakes in this grass here killed a rattlesnake yesterday on my other field sold all my bales so um, I hauled 200 200 bales to Midland um, that guy's gonna give me my check today so that'll be a nice little chunk of money plus I made two thousand dollars just hauling them there so it's pretty awesome here you can see some leaf spot right here That's leaf spot right there, the black dots you see. And you don't really want that because whenever you get that, then get some dead leaves inside of it, you know? And uh, it means the plant is kind of given up, you know? So you kind of don't want that. I mean, but look at my dad's peanuts here. A lot of focus on my camera ain't working anymore. Look at his peanuts. I mean, that's just crazy. And if you look over it like this, you look at the field like this yeah I mean it looks like there's a lot of weeds but then imagine if you're walking here look you got one you got some morning glory here I know some of y'all people put those on your on your houses to make for flowers for beautiful for uh, pretty flowers but out here we call them weeds and you got another one here look at this here it's when it starts getting dangerous I used to have to hoe all the time and uh, we went barefoot, barefoot and shorts and without shirts. We went in this here. I mean, look at this. Look how deep it is. It's crazy. Mosquitoes are crazy too. I wonder if that cloud's gonna rain. I'm gonna show you how pretty the morning glory flowers get. They do have pretty flowers and whenever I build it new house I will put them on my see this one has flowers on it but they're not open yet my focus I promise it is not working my dad just texted me and told me I was supposed to bring him two and a half gallons of gas <laughs> he took the spider spray he wants to spray some spot space spot spray some gas and he forgot to bring gas I'm going to pull one of these plants here, so for a little bit you're going to have to enjoy this cloud that's crawling over and while I pull one of the plants, well actually let me see, I'll probably just, I'm sorry that focus just ain't working. You can just see the peanuts like that, but I'll pull one of the plants so enjoy the view of the, the peanuts. Okay, never mind, I'll turn off.
Okay, sorry about that. Okay, so pulled out these plants here and just look how many peanuts he's got on there. It's a little bit wet here, but just look at that. I mean, he's got peanuts on there like you wouldn't believe. And then you got some of these pod rot. You get pod rot from when the ground is too wet and, the, and they stay too wet and then they start rotting. And uh, if, I think if there's juice inside of them, when you squeeze them, like that, that was nasty. Um, when you get that, then they're still active. And when they're dry, that means the chemical you put down is working. And my dad treated them a while back and it's, he's been stressing about it quite a bit because you don't really want that. But I mean, even if you count all these other ones, oh, and pod rot, I think also, um, it's contagious like it'll it'll creep further um, if you want to see how far the peanuts are done you can see the peanut in there already this is hard opening with one hand they're pretty far done already oh come on well, as you can see, they're pretty much full grown already. And I mean, you know, this is, I picked one of the more mature ones here. And they stay together. They don't, they don't fall apart like that. I just, I was a little bit rough on it. And, uh, oh man, raw peanuts are the best thing ever. If you ever get the chance to pick off some peanuts off the plant and shell them, you just kind of want to, you want to take that, that red peel or the pink peel, whatever it is, you want to take that peel off because it'll, it'll be a little bitter, but man, that is amazing. Yeah, all these morning glories, they don't even have their flowers open yet for some reason. I seen some the other day over there, they had their flowers open. And they'll get real pretty. Of course, y'all are probably not interested in that at all. It's just a flower. Oh well. But yeah, so I'm gonna head home. I was gonna show you the leaf spot a little bit and show you like, these are a little bit yellow here. Oh, my focus is probably off again. I'm sick and tired of my focus on my camera. So I'm gonna go home and go get gas, go home with the tractor, get some gas and bring it to dad and then we're gonna spot spray his grass there. The system is supposed to get out of the way. That little motor there in the middle turns the whole system, or drives the whole system. It's got a motor here. I think it's like a, I don't even know what horse it is. But it's not, it's not even too powerful. I mean, if you get a wrench, you can turn the, if you disconnect the U joints, this one and this one, you can, uh, you can easily drive it with hands. And then that engine connects with a U-joint with a drive shaft to this gearbox. And this gearbox is, uh, the ratio is so easy to turn. So the gear that's geared to where they can turn it simply. All easy like getting out of breath here. But anyway, figured I'd show you all a little stuff here. Looks like that storm is, is shoving off now. It was getting close and now it's just staying away. Hope you enjoy this video. Um, if you want more content kind of like this, just like and subscribe. Oh, I don't have to like it, just subscribe. I don't care about likes. Who cares about likes? Peace!